So today we're going to go over how to make a very basic trap. So the modules that you'll need for this are Monk's active tile triggers and Monk's token bar. To get started with a simple trap, all you really need is a wrap token. Once that is done, what you will want to do is go and make a tile. There, you will want to go to triggers. Everything here is okay and we want to keep it the same. Uh, what this will do will just make it the tile trigger whenever someone walks into it. Now we want to go to actions. Here, we're going to start very simple and then build out. We will want to go add an action, and then the action we want to add is a very simple attack action. So we will go down to attacks, and then we will select the entity. This will be the wrap token that we created earlier. What we will then do is just click the spike launcher, for example. And then, oh, sorry, I messed up there. This should actually be the triggering token, and this here would then be the spike launcher. And then it'll ask you what action you want to use. And then we can either use a chat card attack or use. Right now we'll just use an attack. And then it will ask what mode you want to roll, if you want to keep it private but here once this activates we will know that it's there we'll keep it on a public roll uh, these are just to speed up things so you don't have to manually click anything so it is fast forward and roll damage so now when we create this now whenever someone walks on this tile it will roll and then roll damage but it'll only roll damage if it hits now with that out of the way let us set up a perception check to see if the character notices the trap before it goes off when they walk into the square to do that go back to your triggers tab actions and then add this is where monk's token bar comes in here we want to add a request roll. We want this to be selecting the triggering token. Request is perception. And the DC is whatever DC you want to use. For D&D, it's a DC set. For Pathfinder, it is already there in the character sheet. Here, stealth DC 19. So that's what we'll do. The we'll roll a 19. And then here, if you don't want your players to know that you are rolling perception checks, just use a private results hidden. Auto roll, bypass dialogue, and then set these to all tokens and always. And take this all the way up. Now, with that done and set up, what we want next is to add two landings. This is more code space, and what we want is as, and we want fail. Now, what we'll add after this is a switch that will go to those landings and then play whatever is within them. So for right now, let's put the attack action in the fail section. What we'll then want to do is then add a re redirect request results. Pass tokens go to pass. 
Fail tokens to go to fail. Or, sorry, pass and fail. And then we'll drag this right beneath the reception check. So if they pass, they'll go to the pass landing. And if they fail, they'll go to the fail landing. Meaning that they, the trap will attack them. Now, just to make sure that we know what happens, we're gonna add a chat message. This is a very simple, wait, I think I saw something. And then the speaker is gonna be the triggering token and then chat bubble and everyone. We'll put this chat message underneath the path section. So now, might take a while, but now, if they pass, as we saw, then it will say, wait, I think I saw something, and not do the attack at all. Let's fix that on the state. Yeah. Now, this is basically done, right? Uh, what you will probably want to do is then add a pause game action. So that once either of these are run, it'll pause the game. Um, if you want the token to show after it was triggered, what you can do is just go to and do a show slash hide, and then just select an entity, and this entity will be the token that you want to show slash hide. Drop this down to a show, and now it'll show the spike launcher. What we want to do is this in underneath the landing, duplicate it, because we also want to show it after the attack. Just making sure what happens when you're not in the wrong right layer. Now this is kind of Okay. Just in case, put a pause game underneath that one as well. And then finally, if you just want this only to activate once, what you can do, then active, just hit activate, deactivate this tile, deactivate. Now this tile will only activate once. So as soon as I walk on it, It'll roll everything for me. I would pause the game if the game wasn't already paused. And then, now, tile is no longer active. That's how you make a very simple trap. And then one final thing, what I like to do for my tiles is go to basic and then the tile image or video I have a couple, I have one called Transparent Icon that I use that, well, when updated, it just makes it transparent. So it's now invisible, but it's still there. Thank you. Uh, if you like these types of videos, make sure you like them. Uh, I mean, to keep doing them. Have a good one. <laughs>